All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the High School Star League League, League of Legends Winter, Winter Championships. And we're back here for the grand finals of the Winter Championships. It's all come down to this Jackson High School versus Cerritos High School. Two very strong teams coming up uh, from what we've seen in the past performance. I'm Brian Sidikin and Strong, joined by Aiden Zayling Moon. This should definitely be a very interesting matchup indeed. So, um... Just a fun fact, the other Jackson High School actually finished their season 31 to 1 in wins and losses in games, 16 to none for the win and loss ratio in the rounds. Only jumping one game the entire season. And apparently, there's an echo, so I apologize for that. Oh, yep, I can hear the echo. That is yeah. <laughs> extremely annoying. I don't know, Two Kittens is nice. I know, Two Kittens is nice, but, but Tease Irene is probably not as nice. Um, I'm going to find the admins, and I'll see if we can fix it up really quickly. I've just been having sound issues all day. Oh, I think it's fixed now. Is it? Yep, it's fixed now. It sounds fixed now. Anyways, we're right here into the picks and bands. Jinx, Annie, and Cassidy banned up by Jackson High School. Same man out Jack. And Serious High School, bending out Leeson, Siobhan, and Evelyn. And oh, oh, gosh, picks came out really quickly here. Show the race and immediately locked in the Ziggs. They want to take that away from Yahoo.com, because in the past, Yahoo.com has played Ziggs. He's a monster on it. It leaves a lot open, though. You know, Dr. Yeah. Mundo's still on the a table. A lot of target bans came out. Yeah, a lot of target bans. So they're just leaving a lot of general OP stuff, but they're making them fall back on secondary picks here. The Leeson immediately snatched up. Yep, it's going to be Leona locked in. This is one of Mufasa's more played champions. He's played it quite a bit. Decrupt going to be picking up the Solis here. Of course, uh, just to explain a few of these bands, Lee Sin taken away from Shredder. He's a very strong Lee Sin player. Evelyn a bit interesting. Probably just a general band because Ev Evelyn, of course, is a very strong jungler in the new patch. Uh, and actually looks like next pickup here is going to be the Draven for the AD carry. It's going to be DT Blowfish on Draven. Draven, he does play Draven quite a bit, so not too surprising to see that being picked up here. Actually, Olaf hovered over right now. And so a Draven pickup, you know, they could pair that with like a Lulu for the chase potential, could give it a Janna behind it with the shield, possibly a Tarek, you know, just to stun up and deal with that, because they are dealing with Leona. They're going to want some staying power. Tarek deals pretty well with that. You know, he can heal, whereas Leona can't, and just pretty much just sustain people down as opposed to just bursting. Is that nice mixture? Yep. So looks like the Mundo is actually immediately locked in as well as Silver. Silver Mundo, the next lock-ins for Cerritos High School. That makes sense. It's a good good composition there. Good synergy between them. I like what Cerritos is going for, but I also like the composition that Jackson has. A lot of top-tier characters just coming out all across the board. Nothing too esoteric. Nothing too out of the ordinary. Yep. So. Um, looks like it's going to be hovering over this Lulu, as you're calling it. Yeah, Lulu Draven's extremely strong in the early game. A lot of bullying, but against the Sivir, you know, she doesn't have a lot of escapes. You can kind of pin her up with a Lulu, slow her if she doesn't spell shield at the right time, and it did receive a nerf to the duration, so it's more of a reactive spell. As opposed to something where you pop it and poke somebody and then say, you can't really trade with me with an ability. You have to wait three seconds. Now it's, I believe, a 1.5 second window. And by the way, we're going to be calling uh, Caxi. He's actually going to be called Acro Med. Acro Med. That's just his original name. Got hacked. Uh, got all of his RP wasted. Got his name changed. So I'll call him Acro Med for now because that is uh, uh, what he would like to be called. So he does lock in the big dog Nasus. So we'll be seeing some Nasus, and uh, it's going to be a very nice duo, I think, there with the uh, the Lulu with the Wild Growth. Last uh, lock-in here for Cerritos High School is the Gragas. going to be going over to Yahoo.com. Yes, yeah, so that's a scaling thing there for Jackson. Picking up Nasus, he's a great pick. You know, the fallback would have been Rengar, because Shivana's banned, Dr. Mundo's taken. But Nasus is really good. If they can get to the late game and continue to scale him up, he'll be doing a great job. And you can't really bully him out either with the new Masteries. Yep, so teams are locked in and very quickly as well for these two guys. 
It's going to be a great match if you're Jackson High School and Cerritos High School fighting their way through the brackets all the way into the finals. Well, through the round robin and through the brackets. So, should be a great matchup from these two teams. Uh, both of them are very strong teams well, from what we've seen in the past. You know, just some interesting stuff to talk about. I actually talked to um, you know, Yahoo.com and Shorty Race just about their teams and what they think of it. Interestingly enough, Cerritos High School, uh, I've been told, rely a little bit more on their individual skill. They actually you don't have a shot caller for their team. Um, they rely a lot more on individual skill uh, over the team synergy, pretty much. Um, over for Jackson High School, Shorty Race is actually the shot caller, although his shot calls may not be the most intellectual sounding. Huh. Um, however, they were, you know, they were friends before they formed as a team. They rely a lot more on team synergy. They also have picked up some very interesting strats before. Like they did like an Alistar. A Gragas and like a Kha'Zix, but it was they went until oh no, they did like a Skarner as well. They did some really interesting stuff, but obviously this game a little bit more standard. Yeah. And yeah, also so. in terms of record, Jackson High School, you know, you play three after the uh the round of sixteen, you play three matches. Two of those mm-hmm. matches they went two one, whereas Cerritos hasn't yeah. dropped a single game in the throughout this championship from the round of sixteen. Yeah. So they've been two oh sure. all throughout. Yeah, not too shy they did in the round robin, don't have those tests. But Obviously, a very strong team. So, guys, we're into the three minute spectator delay. We will be bringing right back to you after a very quick commercial break. Jackson High School versus Cerritos High School in the High School Star League League of Legends Winter Championship. Thank you, for all, thank you all for watching, and we'll be right back.
favor. We're back, ladies and gentlemen, to the High School Star League League of Legends Winter Championships Grand Finals. Jackson High School versus Cerritos High School in the best of five series. I'm Brian Cassidy, Kid and Trong, joined by Aiden Zyrene Moon to bring you all the action. Aiden, what are we looking at? Well, we're looking at aligning champions right off the bat here. And a lot of Doran's yeah. items here. No awards for either side. Just going to wait on that 90-second cooldown to get their trinkets going. But you know, once again, Doran's shields for the both supports. Yeah, and actually, once again, we're seeing the uh, uh, Lulu fried pork chops. He actually goes for this Doran shield build on Lulu quite a few times. He's done it in the semifinals quite a bit, and uh, it's a little bit interesting because Lulu isn't more isn't kind of like that Breeze support, like you know the Leona is. That she's picked up one, picked one up herself, or Thresh. So uh, couldn't have that though, and she's Lulu's done. I don't lose out on a lot of gold generation. Yeah, it's well, not really lose out because they're both they both have the same yeah. items. It's completely mirrored across the board in terms of both trinkets and oh, items. Wow. But we have a spread out strategy here for mm -hmm. Jackson, whereas Cerritos is going for five men strong in the red buff. So that tells me they're going to invade because they haven't put anybody in the bottom lane yet. Yep. So looks like they go ahead and hang around in this time and see what they can go for. Interestingly enough, Yahoo.com has actually picked up a quadra kill on Gragas before. You know, it's kind of a stompy quarterfinals matchup, though. He also uh, went on to the semifinals, got a pentakill on Katarina. So he's he's performed quite well for his team. Um, a lot of uh, Jackson High School members have actually told me that they are pretty scared of uh, Yahoo.com as a mid laner because he is a very strong mid laner. You know, he was like number five in challenger for quite some time. Obviously, that always changes, but he was number five in challenger. Had like an AME on Ren and everything. So, yeah, he's a fantastic hey, player. Yeah, through and through, and he's on a Gragas as well, which is one of his comfort picks. Apparently, my mic is cutting out, so I'm gonna have to restart. Is it? Well, it's not, not for me. I'm, it's, it's, not cutting stream, out. it's not cutting out for me, though. Huh, interesting. Okay, well, I'm going to have to reset my skype to fix this then. So I'll be right back. I believe okay. in the 80. Okay. All right, well, it looks like across the board, just not a lot happening, but there is a heads up here in the jungle for Olaf. He's up in CS, means he's cleared out a couple more camps. Just standard starts here. They both went from bottom camp to the top camp, and now they might go middle, might go top, or might clear another out and get that level 3, because you don't get level 3 off of just doing the bigger golems. Or the golem and the, the lizard. So the shorter ace actually going to hit level 3 because he picked up the wraith camp on his way up. And now we're going to see DK do exactly the same thing. Kitten will be back in just a moment. Fried pork chops going for a little bit of a harass there. Level 2 is coming out for the bottom lane. And is that Kitten back? Yep. So, uh, hopefully so, it's all fixed up. No, now. apparently both mics are cutting out, which oh, really? you know, makes sense to me, because okay. I didn't hear you cutting out, so it wouldn't have been you. All right, well, that is in the very important audio show once the issue once again for the stream. And yeah. uh, we'll go ahead and contact admins and see if they can fix that up. Anyways, middle lane gate coming up from Shuri's. Middle lane ganks have actually happened a lot. Uh, the Still last two semifinals games, they actually did go for middle lane ganks coming up, but it was a lot earlier than now, so... Yeah, and especially with somebody just as dumb to the force as Yahoo.com, you want to put some ganks on there and put some pressure. Granted, Zix doesn't have a lot of gank follow-up, no real hard CC. He can use a satchel charge for some displacement, but wow. Tax at the top taking a lot of poke. Uh, Acromed. 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 Yeah. Uh, Acr what? Acromed. Acromed. This is his original name. Acromed? Yeah, Acromed. This I'm just going to call it as I see it, unfortunately. No, no, I've, I've been told Acromed. it's Acromed. I've been told it's Acromed. <laughs> Acromed. Well, that's just going to yeah. be confusing for people who just tune in. I guess, yeah. Well, yo, call him Taxi. Yeah. Just well, for you. Thank you. Just for you. I trust your judgment. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 
Anyways. Four minutes to no free explosives is coming out just yet. Most of these guys, they've actually been gone for really aggressive sites, but obviously they're uh, playing a little bit more passively. Grand Files oh. don't want to drop too much. Rillo is in, in kill range right now. Yeah. Yahoo.com, he's, he's healthy on mana, shorter aces in the vicinity. Just going to try to clear it out, maybe give Rilo a back. We'll have to see. Yep, so looks like D, D Krups is actually hanging around bottom lane. Looks like he won't be able to find anything. Looking over at CS so far, there's a bit of a CS lead in top lane for Cerritos High School. And actually, bottom lane, we're seeing some action finally coming out here. Coming, coming in from D Krups, jumping in onto five points after he flashes away. Cocoon is unable to land. Flies right above his head right there as well. And looks like Fred Pork Shops will be safe for now. There's a nice gank down bottom, but nothing really coming of it. No flashes either burned. Actually, Fried Pork Chops just only his. Yeah, it's still oh, continuing. Yeah, once again, yep, yeah, re-engage down bottom and decrupt is now in trouble. But here got exhausted off flashes away. Schroeder race is coming here for the counter gank. And looks like overpel up right before he goes down. He comes back down. Axe comes out. There's Blowfish with the first blood. Now he has to run away from Rufasa. And actually, no, he wants to throw another Axe down. New era lol is very low. And actually, everybody down bottom and is very low right now. No barrier or flash burn for both ADCs. So maybe could have baited that a little harder. In Yahoo.com, he's at a he's got basically a little more items than Relo right now. God, he's just putting on the hurt back and forth so far in the mid lane. Yep. So. One to none now in favor of Jackson High School. They started this off very well for themselves. Looks like we do see D D D D T Blowfish able to start off his build with the BF sword, and there all the voices coming Taxi. out there. He's, oh, he's got to blow yep, the ghost. Taxi's taking damage. Flawless is going on for him. He's going to be putting some damage down. Looks like Taxi will just be forced to back out. Uh, just went after him. No ignite on Mundo. He's got the teleport for some lane presence, but Caxi has teleport as well, so he can go ahead and use that to get back into lane and not miss any CS. Because it does look like Flawless is going to go ahead and start pushing this wave. Level 6 is coming out for him, as well as the mid laner. Just, and here comes oh, Decrupt. Yep, coming in middle lane, pinging in some danger to Rayuli there, but. He's been down in CS all game as a jungler. Yeah. So he's down in levels. Ooh. And oh, yeah, there's some uh, damage coming up. Yeah, that come by Yulu, both getting very low after that trade here. It's more than likely we'll see if you see them back off. Ooh, flash away the Schroeder race. Uh, the Schroeder race, Undertow still lands actually. He's going for another one. Is under the land, and now Decorrupt comes back in here, throws off the stun. Ryulu puts down the damage with the bouncing bomb and the auto attack. Decorrupt gets to kill the Schroeder race. Meanwhile, bottom lane, Nero Lowe getting taken down very low here. I put Chops and DT Blowfish on the pursuit, but they'll just go ahead and back out. <laughs> Don't do it, Decrupt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got the spider. Oh, it's not as fast anymore. They gave her a couple nerfs way back in the day. I guess it's like maybe five patches ago, something like that. Where they yeah. nerfed the range on, or I guess the speed on her spiders. Still, maybe that could have turned out a little differently if we were playing way back then, but still. Mm -hmm. Did a great job there rotating with Yahoo.com. Yahoo.com didn't get an assist though. Yeah. And Flawless up in the top lane has to blow his ultimate. But... Yeah, still trading a lot up there. And CS Lead is going over to Flawless's favorite though, so he's doing well on that. Has the giant spell to Chris wants to get just the tier health coming in there for that window so he can regen a lot more. Mm -hmm. I'm hanging up there for a while longer. He has pushed up this little way quite a bit though. Yeah. So he's not in the best position, doesn't have it warded at either his you know, his warding totem is up. Down bottom, though, if Leona can land a Zenith Blade. Yeah. yeah. Uh, looks like no. No, uh, Mike. <laughs> goes right back into it. the jungle. Yeah, he misses it. No summoner spells burned there either. Once again, up top, it's just the sustain war with the push and pull constantly. And that's pretty much how all top lanes go right now. It's just the wave clear. Yao.com goes underneath the bob. Ooh, they just put some cast on Ryulu there. There's a satchel charge coming. Gap, close that gap. Or make it actually the gap. You will go ahead and get out of there very quickly. Yeah, that kind of trying to go aggressive. Meanwhile, with D corrupt, finds Shredder Race, gets the cocoon down. Ghost is popped. He's trying to run away. Throws on the undertow to get the slow down. And so he will continue on his way and escape. Force the ghost there. Yeah, he had to use the ghost to knock the cocoon land, landed right after. And that was actually a great play by D. Corrupt, but unfortunately, nothing comes with it. Flawless. Stole his blue buff. He stole his Damn, red. Flawless. No, they stole the blue. Oh, buff. they stole his red. His blue. Yeah. Oh, no, actually, oh, up Gassi. top. 
Yep, Flawless is going into the tower for this one. Flash is in there, gets the kill with the AoE. Oh, it looks the like race. the shorter race were right there to pick up the kill. They thought he went back, but he didn't. Meanwhile, Yahoo.com once again putting pressure on Ryolu. Oh, and the blue buff still now on Decrupt. Yep, he tries to go in there. Looks like uh, Ryolu is able to get away, but he is definitely feeling pressure. He'll be forced to go back after all that action. Oh, Blowfish takes a turret hit there. Mufasa doesn't decide to follow it up with anything. Yeah, they're still really being aggressive there. Yeah, bottom. Decrypt. You can just come down. There's on the hunt. There's a solar flare. Gets a slow into Blowfish. There's a Zenith Blade as well. Rowl growth coming up. The Rolling Death comes back. Mufasa goes down to fried, fried pork chops. Both supports get the kill as Mufasa takes that DT Blowfish. Flash away from fried pork chops. He gets fried a flash. Trinity Race tries to run in there. Uh, ends up eating a, a cocoon. Gets a flash for his trouble. Yahoo.com rotates down bottom. Gets a. A pink ward and I guess just a little bit of personal time with the wall just doesn't go through it. Yahoo.com tried to, uh, yeah, go through that ward, which he did, wasn't able to. So, Vi is coming out now. Both supports just got that kill in the bottom lane trade, so we'll have to see how they utilize their gold there. Leona picks up the Sight Stone, of course. Always a great item for himself, as well as has the Ancient Coin. Get that gold gen going. Oh, Yahoo.com. Yep, he's taking the ignite now. Raiulu does throw out the Satchel Charger. He might be paying for it. Oh, the ignite! Away. He's ignite dead. Is taking down. He went right into the tower, and he paid for that one right there. Oh, oh Raiulu was in such a good position, and he just throws it all away. Okay. Uh, top lane, Caxi and Flawless now fighting. There is a fury of the sands, but Flawless is regening it all back up. He's trying to get away using the sweet gen to his advantage right now. No, Caxi is not gonna have his ultimate up. Oh, he it got enough balls. Caxi's in trouble. Trade. Oh, Caxi once again goes down. Two one now. Lawless is sitting up in that top lane very nicely. Wow, this is well played there. Knew he didn't have any kind of ignite or any way to reduce the healing coming in, so he just runs away from him. Decides to make a double back afterwards. Gets rid of the minion wave before he throws out a cleaver, so it's pretty much guaranteed and can't be body blocked by them. And just take chunks him down. With those cleavers, you know they have a minimum damage on them, and they do magic damage. So Caxi's actually optimizing his build for that. Mm -hmm. So after all of this here, CS lead so looking in favor, pretty much staggered actually right now. Sure, the race as well as DT Blowfish have CS leads. However, we are seeing Flawless Yahoo.com. Have their own, and actually Teleport's gonna be coming down bottom lane here as we do see the four man game coming down. So flag is thrown down while goes down to DT Blowfish. He flashes out, Schroeder race now comes in for the tank. Where is the Whirling Death coming out? Boss is looking to take some tower shots here. But no kills coming out so far, and a lot of abilities burning, especially that Teleport coming out from Fox. New Era's alone! New Era lulls too far for DT Blowfish, takes advantage of it, and finds the kill. Meanwhile, middle lane burst coming down. There's a Mega Infredo, Bobby flashes out! Yahoo.com is able to survive the trade. Meanwhile, there's this Rita's high school team setting up on the dragon. Shutter is going in, is unable to see it, steal it, but now they want to go for the fight. Shutter is locked down by CC. He backs out a little bit. D corrupt and Flawless are so low, but they cannot catch up. Top lane tire goes down. There's a bouncy bomb from the side, and actually Axe is coming out from Mufasa, picks up the kill. Oh, picks up the kill on Team Mufasa, coming out from Blowfish there. No, Ryolu, what are you doing, man? Almost goes down to a barrel from so Dragons. He'll get out. Because. Hey. Because of the teleport down bottom, that just left Nasus up top to con to just catch up and farm, get himself 10 ahead, and he gets the turret. Granted, the you know, dragon falls into the hands of Cerrito, but Jackson's still in a great position here. They are up in gold about 2k, whereas it was even before getting some kills. And I think they got two kills in a turret for a dragon. Yep, so 5 to 5 down turns kills. Tower up for uh, Jackson High School. Cerritos have the dragon up. Every Jackson High School is sitting in the lead in terms of gold. Caxi and Flawless not trading up top lane. Caxi probably doesn't want to deal with them just based on how it's gone before. Looks like he's going for the Spirit Visage. Yeah, that would be the... Like I said, he's optimizing for the magic resist because most of Mundo's damage, aside from his auto attacks, is magic, his cleavers, and his burning agony. So... That's what he's doing. He's going to sustain himself as much as possible because that's what Mundo is going to do. Mundo is going to sustain with his ultimate over and over again. Just pop sadism and be fine. Yep. So he has to match that in some way, shape, or form with his passive and then have the spirit visage. Yep. 
So, so far, five to five. What do you think both teams need to do to find a uh, bigger advantage? I guess uh, uh, just have to catch up Jackson High School, just have to keep the advantage going. What do you think they need to do? Jackson or Cerritos? Because Jackson just needs to start snowballing it. They need to watch out for the Mundo, but it was really kind of a misplay there with the teleport deck down bottom because they didn't get any kills in that bottom lane. And then Draven Blowfish, you know, he's having a great game. Three, one, and one. There's only one kill on the map. Same with Shorter Ace that they haven't been a part of. So, and sa same with the support. There's a lot of, like, joint kill participation here at 80%. And, oh, real no lane once again. Trouble. The kill kidding coming out. Megan Printer Bomb coming down. Ignite and the barrel roll from Yahoo.com. Pick up the kill into Ryulu very easily there. Meanwhile, DT Blowfish getting in day engaged on now bottom lane. Fight point catches off. Warden, he walks into lane. Sees what's happening now. He's in trouble himself. Has his wild growth and flash to escape there. So uh, for the question of what Cerritos would need to do, my my answer would be that. <laughs> Get those pickoffs. They need to yeah, do that. Blowfish needs to just snowball that mid lane. He's doing a great job. 2-0, keeping Ziggs 0-2. Just constantly punishing him for tiny mistakes. That's what he's doing. He's, as soon as Ziggs will like, step forward, he's like, all right, I got to use my explosive cast. Got to displace you, body slam. You can't get away if I'm right on top of you. This is his only way of getting away is the satchel chart. He'll take Ragus with him. And he'll barrel roll right afterwards. So top lane once again. These fights between Flawless and Kaxi erupting here. We be trading back and forth. Kaxi in the fear of the sands. Flawless has his ultimate going as well. But we said they'll both back off. We might just go right back to uh, farming it up. Sunfire Cape is already built up here. Yeah. On Flawless, so yeah. Already has one of his items completed. We basically have a resourceless champion versus a mana champion who's out of mana. Yeah. It's very unfortunate there. Ryolu throws out the satchel charge. Yahoo.com is uh, shorter race is coming in here for the gank onto Yahoo.com. Right? Decrupt though is around as well. Looks like they'll just go ahead and say hi and back out. And that's also one of the reasons that we see Rengar. I don't think they go right back oh, in. Oh, oh no! Rayo, he flashes away. Well, bottom lane tide does go down. Decrupt Ooh. with the repel up and down back to a minion. Yeah. And shorter race almost uh and uh, Yahoo.com almost finding out Ryolu again out of position. The explosive cast. Yeah, and what I was going to say there was that's why we see Mundo, Shivana, and Rengar as the three top lane champions, the trifecta currently, because they don't use any resources. Mm -hmm. Ribbon kind of as a backup, more of a mid laner now. And then there's some some other ones, because like right now, Nasus can't do anything. He's out of his resource. Whereas Mundo, he's just constantly going to push. He's going to wait for the cooldown of Sadism to come back up. Mufasa. Using Eclipse there, but not following it up. Actually, just going on, just Jeez, retreating. Jeez, Blowfish is doing so much damage. Stand aside coming out. But they're not quite able to do that. Nice solo flare coming in there to uh, just stop DT Blowfish from continuing with that. Jeez, he is just, he's building up damage right now. Has Bloodthirster. It looks like possibly a Last Whisper coming up next to himself. Yeah, it looks like the next item that he's going to come out with. Not a lot of armor to really warrant that but he does see the sunfire cape completed in the top lane so he's gonna try to snowball that last time and it you know it wouldn't be too far of a stretch to see that he would to say that he would face flawless sometime in the future because flawless did teleport down there previously for a dragon yeah. and it'll be up in a minute and oh Jackson finds flawless yeah flawless is pretty low back in here but flawless has some cleavers to throw out it's a slow down we also have sage is available he'd yep. be able to run away nasus can't really stop him Oh, Yai.com is looking for trading once again against Ryolu. DT Blowfish is actually here, so. Yeah, they got <laughs> the bottom sure turret. Bring blow what? what? They got the bottom turret, so they might as well rotate their ADC and support middle and apply that pressure. Because if the. You know, if Cerritos brings their ADC and support middle. Well, Jackson's is more fed currently. So they would be a, it'd be a disadvantage. Yes, yeah, so but they will be having this push over into the middle lane here, and they can probably pick up this tab pretty easily. They have near a lull still down bottom lane. Decrypt is actually taking out Wraiths currently, so they have a little bit of advantage in this push. They actually have to go down bottom because near a lull has this bottom tower going down. Rolling Death comes across a little bit too late though, and actually they lose the bottom tower a little bit lower than they uh, thought it was. And they uh, oh. down. Ryolu is in trouble here. Snowflare coming off, there's the barrel, he's trying to turn around to Yahoo.com, but he does get taken out. No, he's just getting schooled in the mid lane right now. Yeah. 0 3 to 3 0 50 CS school. down. Yeah, <laughs> taking him to high school, absolutely. Yeah, so Dragon is just respawned though, so it looks like uh, Cerritos High School is setting themselves up for yet another Dragon. They picked up the first one, 
Looking good for the second one, they do pick it up. Shorter is now trying to go in there, gets the wild growth because he's getting solo and focused down. And actually, he gets stunned out here by Fire Porch. Uh, Fire Porch actually taking out after getting stunned. Taxi's though coming in here. There's a shutdown. There's a double kill coming out as well from New Era Lol. Triple kill actually here as he's doing a lot of damage out. Taxi tries to run away. Boomerang Man comes back. Quadra kill. The New Era Lol. A mess of a team fight, which results in New Era Lol picking up a quadra kill on Sivvy. That was not a good fight at all for Jackson. Like, yeah. They sent Nasus back before he, he TP'd. We had Flawless in the fight earlier, had his teleport used. So it's really just, he showed up late to the fight. Ziggs was already down, so it was a 4v5 at best. And then instead of disengaging the fight, they go all in, and now they're 2k gold down. So. Yeah, so... Quadra kill coming out for Nero Lol. He actually got a triple kill before it, so he's building it up. Maybe he'll get a pentakill on Sivir. <laughs> We'll see if he can do it. Then, then Sirius would be like the team of Pentakillies. Yeah, and that yeah, kind two of reverses it kills and a Pentakill to the name. Because, I mean, yeah, Dra Draven champ. was doing a great job. Yeah. For, like, previously, he was doing fantastic. He was definitely in a better position, and now it's kind of swapped. New yeah. Era Lol, he's got to level up. He, I believe he actually has more gold overall. Actually, no, he doesn't. He's still 400 gold down in terms of gold total. But still, that, hot, that helped him kept, catch up immensely. Well, we're, talking, we're talking like he was so, down yeah. 1500 gold plus previously. Yeah. And now he's yeah. back. Middle tower just went down to the two in terms of towers. Both these guys, Cerritos High School, up two dragons compared to Jackson right now. There's six kills ahead as well, so that is a very commanding lead for uh, Cerritos High School right now. And they're definitely looking strong here. Caxi and Flawless trading up top lane. Caxi losing all the, the, uh, the fights so far this time. So it looks like Caxi's going to go for either Frozen Heart or he's going to go for the Iceborne Gauntlet just for that Q rotation extra hit instead of like a Trinity Force. Because he does need to have some armor and make himself tanky in this. And here comes Decrupt. Yep, he's coming in for the game. I don't think Caxi can do too much about this. Positive fear of the Sands. He's trying to get out with the tank as he gets stunned out by the Cocoon. And he'll be going down here and it looks like the kill goes over to Flawless. Shredder Race comes in here but can't do too much. We'll just have to hold the lane. He's going to have to just clear it out. No sedatives available for Flawless, but it'll be up shortly. And yeah, that has such a low cooldown without a Spirit Visage or anything along those lines. He just has the Kindle Gem for 10% CDR. It's still extremely short. 60 second cooldown for him. Yep. Oh, Mega Inferno Bomb comes out here. Spell shielded out, I think it was right there. Nicely done. Looks like gonna be a lot of oh. concentration in the jungle here. A lot of poke damage coming out as well. Top lane tower does go down. Sherry's is looking to come in from the side. But he doesn't have his team quite with them just yet. So it looks like they won't be able to go in on that. They were able to get a lot of poke down actually on two members of Cerritos High School. Yeah, Nasus is sitting at 333 stacks on his Q currently on his siphoning strike. So that'll be what gets them back in this game is if they can hold it out to late game. They're down 4k gold if they can really just hold out it'll really pay off they'll just have the split push from nasus he'll be able to deal with mundo eventually he'll have enough damage to just burn through him but you know it's a long way off yeah, yeah we'll only have to see if they can in. delay it yeah and uh cerritos high school definitely probably the team that can close out games pretty easily here so you'll be seeing them up oh, there's right lucada once again and knight gets thrown down there's a wild growth to help him out he wants, he wants to throw down some dance onto Yahoo.com, but he is very close to going down there once again. Yahoo.com, very, very dangerous on that Gragas. I don't know what Yolo is doing. He's, I think he's overstaying his welcome here. He's trying to bait yeah, them a little oh bit. Oh, no. <laughs> he has to be very careful right now. Granted, he's, he's not worth as much money because he's 0 and 3, but still, taking off somebody off from the map will allow you to take an objective, uh, and he's just being really risky. Yep, so he's gonna have to go. He'll probably uh, go back right about now as he has. So he has the Athenes and Holy Grail, and as well as, well as a Blasting one. And actually, Yagi.com is on his way to having a Brandon's Death Cap, which I do believe he can pick up right now. Yep, yep as you go. say that. Oh man, there is gonna be the burst coming out. Sorcerer's Shoes completed as well. So he has the most CS in the game right now, and stuff is showing in uh, how he's built up these big items already. So Caxi is going to go for 
It looks like a frozen heart. If he turns that cloth armor into the Warden's Mail, he'll be able to get the frozen heart with the Glacial Shroud. And you know, it, it's not going to give him the damage that he needs, but it's going to give him some durability for team fights. He'll also be able to slow down the attack speed of Sivir. And Flawless is getting ganked right now. Yep, Shorter is coming up top lane and put down the gank here. Can they chase after him? They do have a lot of slows coming out from the other two and the Wither. So it looks like uh, they actually have to back out here and can't really continue with this game. Flawless has already regen right back up to full health and now he's chaining with Taxi. Who has no mana again. Yep. He's got nothing. Meanwhile, and bottom lane looks like there's a very heavy push coming out of the side of Cerritos High School onto this bottom inner tower. They're yeah, doing work to it. They decide not to go after Flawless because it would take too much time. And that's yeah. two people on one. Oh, and down bottom. Blowfish gets caught out with a lot of CC. They're going right into the tower. Mufasa gets the kill. Five point chops is right up next. Yeah. And he gets sent to the Butcher. Huh. He gets taken out near a lull. Picks up the tower and it was uh, corrupt with the kill right there. So it's just a numbers game right there. Like I was saying, it's going to take them a long time to deal with Flawless. They decide to back off. So when you're 2v1ing somebody up top, and your 1v1ing in the mid means there's a 2v3 down All bottom. The teleport coming down bottom lane here as well to keep this pressure going. They're just going for these towers here. Flawless will be taking the tower shots and they can do it. Flash! Didn't play down to Raiolu there. They destroy him near a lol with that kill. He is now dominating here. 25 minutes in. Cerritos High School looking to pick up the first inhibitor. Now here's another fight going to be coming up here as members of Jackson High School come back at Mufasa. Being taken out slow by Yahoo.com. It's about to join the fight here. A double kill coming up from Flawless as he's going right under these towers here. He's chasing it and it gets the triple kill as he takes out Jackson High School. He's so tanky right now. And that's going to be the ace coming down. This is actually GG's being called in chat. Look at the way that they just the high go school. back and forth and rotate in that team. Ground. Look at how low everybody is. Four of them are flashing red. New Era Lol, the only exception. But wow, it's a 26 minute game in favor of Cerritos. Yeah, that was just a beautiful fight coming out for them right there. Cerritos High School picking up the first game victory in the best of five series against Jackson High School. Jackson High School falling there. And Cheetos High School was just so strong.